Folks, believe it or not, we're going to Jeff's Antique Mall and we're going to stop by the Vintage Mermaid Shop. Right here on my take on Home and Garden. You know when I'm on the road and we're doing a shop with me, I have to do a voiceover because of people in the store and noise and the music they play that we can't play because of copyright, you know. So, let me show you the opening to this clip to Jeff's Antique Mall before the editing. Just so you have an idea what it would be without Angela's editing. Okay, here we go. Well, folks, here we are in New Smyrna Beach. Believe it or not, Jeff's Antique Mall. Pretty good lip sync, huh? <laughs> here we are. Alrighty, there's a little trouble with the fluorescent lighting, but there's some cute things in here. Vintage. And all the booths are individual dealers, as you know. Typically, when it says mall, each little booth is set up by its own dealer. Cutest homemade canned goods here. Should have got one of each. Lots of goodies. Boy, I wanted that vase. So did Angela. That would have been a good gift if I grabbed it. Love the vintage Bavarian, Austrian plates, and there's some Hummels. There's some carnival glass in here. Love that picture. There's a Bavarian creamer. I recognize that moose. It's probably Royal Bay Root, pretty sure. And in the silver crest, the Fenton two-tiered server. It was 28, maybe. There's a little basket. And the Jasper Ware and the Viking boat is cute too forget who it's it might be for Astoria and you know when you're at the beach you're gonna find some beachy stuff clean new shirts beach jack signs and so on cute and they do some different art classes here. A little bit of furniture, a lot of collectibles. Look at this old time. You guys, a couple of you guys probably still have this. <laughs> real to real. Old singer. Sewing machine with the cabinet. Get some silver. Books and bottles and everything here. Different collectibles. Now here's some cute farmhouse. Coffee pot, coal bucket. I actually really like that coal bucket. And it was reasonable. Look at that, 39. A lot of farmhouse. And this one. There's your press 
print and there's a Jim Beam bottle that phone you know they did a lot of different Jim Beam bottles more glass cut glass vintage glass this soup terrine almost went home it's Czech Republic really good real good decent price too some cranberry here's a wagon for somebody that needs a wagon for fall vintage toys Okay, that blue and white is cute. It looks maybe Scandinavian. And look at the Lily of the Valley set. Oh boy. Teapot. Cream and sugar. Angela wanted that basket. I thought it was high. I can't remember the price. Got to apologize on the lighting. Some of it really raised heck with the camera. I'm, I know some of the LED does, with the some of the fluorescent does. Tons of smalls and different children's books, toys, games, all categories. Some brass, copper, vintage jewelry, just a ton of things. All kinds of cool lamps. mirrors this is so 60s this lamp is cute as heck look at that the wicker is woven onto the ceramic piece More jewelry. Some nautical. There's a cool, there's a real oil lamp. All righty. Little sailboat for your next beachy vibe picnic. Oh yeah, you know I'm going to get stopped by the old train sets and toys. I really like those and the uh, tin toy trains here. And they're 50s. And this whole booth is... cottage core I guess and a little Victorian a little shabby chic and a lot of cute pieces in here <laughs> Kids with a little homemade fishing pole out of a stick. Nice frames and prints I like. Angela. 
is scowling at me because I didn't bring that home. It is good. It would go with her stuff. I told her if she was good, I might go back here. <laughs> There's some flying angels and all kinds of vintage lamps. Let's see what else. Here's a cabinet of some vintage Christmas ornaments. Here's some beachy vibe booth. Crabs are sexy too, but here's the sign I figured most of our people would like. <laughs> Bikinis only beyond this point. <laughs> oh, that's a bringer there. A lot of Demitas little sets. This booth I really loved. Everything was coordinated and really cute here. The print, the mirror, the vase, the tang horse coming up. Oh, love, 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 love it. Lots of vintage glass, terrain. The section piece was amazing, I thought. Hard to find. There's a footed cup and saucer. Here, I'll give. This booth is called Nellie's Nest. It was really well done. There's some depression. Love the frosted glasses, three bucks a piece. Some crystal pieces, candle stick, candle holders. That porcelain piece, I looked at a couple times. Here's some cute vintage glass. Pretty reasonable. 24 on that big green, that's 60s. So 60s. Oh, I wanted that crew at 25, I think. 15 on the crackle glass. The big tall piece was so art deco. Lots of smalls, lots of farmhouse. Tools, leather goods, trunks. Actually, I saw a real cute trunk in here for $60. That, that is not bad. Some copper. Again, the hammered copper, little porcelain sets, and this owl was cute. This resonated with me, this sign. <laughs> Badminton anyone? <laughs> oh, and this double brass student's lamp could almost come home. It is so cute. 80? Oh, really cute.
more farmhouse. There's a potato masher. More oil lamps. Cheese box. You Victorian collectors with your ladies dresser paraphernalia. There's a ton. <laughs> and here's a couple of out there. Chairs and a white. Sewing machine. Which was before white. Westinghouse, I guess, and they combined, and then it just became Westinghouse. Here's the cutest thing. I thought a genie up in Virginia with the wicker woven chicken. I see things in here for a few of our friends. Love the pig cooks <laughs> bookends. This booth was extra fun. Quite a few things in here. Really love that cobalt blue face. 21, that's not bad. love this it almost came home for Angela I told her it was almost a present but I can't spoil everything I know you girls, some of you girls had wished you were here with me. Crafting with the heart. I know you wished you were here. Olivia Palm Springs. Hello Olivia, where have you been? I see you're taking a little break. And Rusty Nail Mendelssohn. They'd be right here, shopping. Love some of the old tins. You gotta crack up. There's Curious George, right? Some I, you know, I can easily get over, but some just grab you. And here's a unique cake stand, hand painted rose by Faustoria. Fenton, I mean, Fenton. 49 bucks. Now here's a pair of lamps that really caught my eye and I had picked up a, a lamp a lot like these and 175 for that pair. Real cute, really good, right on the edge of wanting to come home. And then we went down the road and went to the Vintage Mermaid. The cutest little store and shop. Now she has collectibles and furniture, but she redoes furniture in the chippy uh, chalk paint, nautical, shabby chic, 
cottage core flavors, all those flavors. You'll see some of that in the store. Real nice people. And she has all the supplies you need. The milk paint, the chalk paint, the waxes and glazes and real unique supply house right here in New Smyrna Beach. The Vintage Mermaid. I did pick up a piece from here too. Now Look at how cute. This is some of her work. This is the cutest thing I've seen in a while because she offers free lessons. She'll do a workshop on these painting techniques for free. So, very unique. That hula girl. Oh, hibiscus is out of the world. Real cute. And here we go. I actually like that one, that mermaid. Lots of goodies, old fashioned prints. Look, quite a little collection of stuff. Love this sign. And the mermaids are off the chain, good. <laughs> There's a couple I wouldn't mind. The fish are cool. The t-shirts are cool. Little bit of glam, little bit of nautical. Cute coat hooks. Yes, sir, I have a spot for her. <laughs> See, that, that's reasonable for the coat hook. Now, here's some of the furniture she does. Painting and stenciling. Look at the technique. I love that white. There's some island pillows. And she's got a lot of bits and bobs. for the uh, art technique, the different, lots of brushes, we'll get to them. She's, we're still looking at this, it's the cutest old, old canister set, probably 30s or 40s. Oh yes, I saw her in a dream once. Lots of cool little surfboard memorabilia too, and signage. Really wanted one of each. <laughs> Here's a dresser. This is the kind of work she does.
And hey folks, we're going to put all the information you'll need to find or contact the two stores we're looking at today in our description box. Very, very cool. Okay, love the Barracuda. And this dresser was a favorite coming up. This is the 50% off table, so you know I got something off that. <laughs> yes, sir. That beautiful picture in the corner. Look at this dresser, guys. This is some of her work. Just wonderful. And here's her supply room. Every color, every coating. And that's Phil and Lorraine that run this. Real cute. And they get these flexible molds. A lot of you girls have seen these. You can use them over and over and over and do your plaster. Plastic, all kinds of different trims, and that pops right out of them molds over and over again. And these were appliques for behind the dresser hardware. Really, really good looking. And then here's some appliques. Fantastic. For furniture and wall design, mirror. Super cool. Here's your, all your milk paints, chalk paints, like I said, and everything you need for that look. <laughs> Specialty brushes for stenciling. Real cute. Now, if you liked our video today, give us a like, a share, a comment. Send your friend over. Take care, everybody. Be good. And you know, we care about all our subscribers. And we'll see you in the next over the top shop with me video thanks guys